Caroline. Yes. Have you heard about the ETA? Yes. Have you heard about the ETIAS? I have. <gasps> oh, that's good. So you're prepared then. Oh, that's good. She is a very organised, my dear miss. Is that like me? <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> well, now, earlier this year, in April 20, uh, 2023, mm -hmm. they, uh, well, the Guernsey in Jersey, yeah, the uh, Channel Islands, they managed to negotiate a passport free travel because you probably realize this here in the eu people don't generally travel in the eu with a passport they use their id cards makes perfect sense you see so a lot of the french a lot of the germans and other eu member states the spanish and what have you well they don't necessarily have passport they don't bother them because there's plenty of places for them to you know to travel to and if they don't need a passport they don't worry no well unfortunately for the channel islands it affected their tourism big time all of a sudden well, it went to pot. Well, that'll teach half them got for voting for Thip and Brexit, wouldn't it? Because that's what caused all this, is Brexit. Yeah, many of them voted for Brexit because of fishing. Mm. Silly people. They haven't even gained anything either, have they, really? No. So, there's another problem, then. Did you know that, Don? Yeah, it's OK this year, but... Oh. Oh, dear. February 24. <gasps> February 24, the... UK's ETA system comes into force. Now the ETIAS system isn't actually a problem because it's already been negotiated. Passport free travel. You know, like I say, it was April this year, in 2023. But it could be short-lived. And most definitely is going to be short-lived because of the ETA system. So the passport free travel from the EU, or to and from the Channel Islands to the EU will be scattered by the UK. Oh. Oh dear. Because of biometrics. Did you know what they're going to do, Caroline? These biometrics. They're going to take your fingerprints. Yes. They're going to steal your soul with photographs and stuff. They're going to probe you. We've already done pho photographs and fingerprints for our... Um, cartus cartus I wasn't probed. And also they're going to take a skin sample. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone said they're not? No, no they haven't. So how do you know they're not? Going to? They might do. Oh, have a paddle. Oh, we've got a little beach down here. Oh, let's, let's have a little trundle down here, shall we? Oh dear, we're at Sykerot again. And it's a, it's a lovely little spot, there it is. Talk dogs and what have you. And have a paddle. In, in the summer, you get all the it's... locals come down there and they mess about in the water. But it's always nice and cool here, isn't it? Even when it's uh -huh. hot. You get you get all you get all the you Caroline. Yes. You get ladies down here as well, ski dipping. No, we do you not. Do. I've never uh, seen them. Mermaids, you get mermaids as well. I've never know. seen a mermaid, <laughs> only on yeah. the TV. They're mermaids, they're, they're not topless though. No, oh, they're not topless, they wear coconuts. I watched the, did on, I, I did see my eye little mermaid on oh, the Oh did you? Cinema, did, yeah. Was it wearing coconuts? No. Oh, okay. Did you did you also hear about what's going on in uh, Catalonia? No. Oh, I mentioned in the previous video in Catalonia they've passed well, they're basically enforcing uh, freedom of expression, or as expose. Oh, I see, that boob uh, thing. Yeah, yeah the boob thing, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Basically, get a, a half, uh, <coughs> half a million euro fine, up to half a million euro fine for swimming pools if they don't allow individuals to, you know, swim topless. So I know where I'm going. <laughs> uh, 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 okay. <laughs> so yes, so UK travel permits put the future of passport-free travel to the Channel Islands in doubt. Oh, oh door is in the water. Yeah. So French visitors to the Channel Islands have been able to travel without their passport under the new scheme that was introduced in April 2023. But the new ETAs, the UK ETAs, uh, being introduced by the UK government next year may mean that the scheme is very short-lived. It's oh. going to end. Oh, so shall we go to the Channel Islands or shall we just stay on the mainland island the when we don't need Catalonia the passport? Moment, huh? Shall we go to a Channel Island or shall we just stay on the mainline, mainland where we don't need a passport? Well, we'll be all right. We've got a UK passport. No, I know that, but I mean, people are thinking, saying that. Shall we go on holiday to the Channel Islands well, or shall we just stay on mainland? Well, that's the same that's happening in the UK as well. There's so many French and German citizens and saying, well, sod the UK. Well, yeah, uh, we're, we're going tourism, to, cause, you know. We're going to, because that's quite expensive if for a family of five or six to get a well, That's a good point. Passports. It might be for individuals, but if you've got the whole, whole if, family for passports... if they only occasionally want to go, then that's not really worth no, doing not, it, is not going to do it, are they? 
And besides, a lot of the families are here, they get a lot of support, don't they? Regarding the calf, they get vouchers, you see, the um, families here. They can get up to 50% off a holiday. Well, up to 700 euros. Yeah, off a holiday. My son's now going on a nice holiday and um, yeah. he got a really good Our discount. son. Our son, sorry. Look, I'm not involved. Look, I had nothing to do with it. Our son is now going on holiday on Saturday to Marseille. Marseille, yes. And, oh, um, Marseille? Because he's staying... Is it, where the, is it where all the riots are? I think that's calmed down now. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. And I think, because, you know, because he's got two children in school, he gets quite a good discount if he stays in France. Well, they can get, they can get they a... They have to stay in France. Yeah, they have so. to stay in France. That's the point, really. Mm. Is, 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 so what, why would they not take, um, you know... There's so many places here you, know, you can go, beautiful places here in France. Why would, why would they go further afield anyway, really? Well, you wouldn't, would you? No. So, people, don't forget, people travel from the UK to come here. The only reason so the I French can stay put and they still could be on holiday. The only reason I go back to the UK is to see people, not the place. That's a valid point. You don't, go, don't visit the UK, do you, to actually holiday, do you? You go to no, the UK to, to see, to see the family. family, to see the kids. Yeah. And see babies that keep getting born. Yeah, one after another another one, one. We've got another one coming now. It's going to be 11. Yep. 11 grandchildren. Yep. 11 grandchildren. <sighs> you get to know in a couple of weeks what, you're, what, what it's going to be. I think that's it. I think I'm going to... Don't let your lake trainers. Lake the lake. What's that? What? If you could don't get, get don't eat them trainers wet. <laughs> if, you, if, you could, if you could go into the water, take your trainers. So yeah, on. the island's tourism body uh, visit Jersey reports that there were only five thousand five hundred and sixty visitors from France during 2022, and that's just 28 percent of pre-pandemic level. Well, we know it's not because of the pandemic. We know it's because obviously these. Uh, Passport. Well, that, that, that they couldn't travel without a passport. Yeah. Then the scheme got introduced and it, incre and it increased from there on. So the Home Office is due to start phasing in the ETA authorizations uh, for visitors from Qatar from October this year, uh, extending to the other Gulf states, including Jordan and the UEA, United Arab Emirates, from February 2024. And visitors from affected countries will have to pay £10 to apply for the NETA. As well as a passport. As well as the passport. Yeah. Yeah. Pe yeah. Uh, each person. That's it. But the ETA system is going to scupper the use of the. Uh, yes. Of but the what, actual, what I was um, getting at is, is at the moment they don't need anything. anything they can just all. go in uh, on the ID card. But now they're going to have to get a passport for every member of the family and plus pay ten pound. Every member of the family. Uh, every member of the family. Can, can it be done? As, do you know if it can be done as a family or is it? Just... No, I think um, under 18s are free. I think it's if you're 18. Oh, okay. I think. Um, don't quote me. I think. I'm it's... quoting you. <laughs> just did. You quoted. <laughs> Quotation marks. Quoted. I think it's 18, <laughs> darling. <laughs> oh dear. Do you know what? What am I scuppering yourselves, isn't it? Eh? You know. Damaging your economy, pushing up inflation, giving the old bigwigs more money up there. You know, like the 1% or even the 5% richest people in the country, or, in, or actually the planet, because well, obviously money's going abroad. For what? Sovereignty! Which we never really had in the first place. And we've got less now than we had when we were in the European Union. For every trade deal you negotiate, you give away a little bit of your sovereignty. It's just how it works, you know. Did you know that, madame? No? Did you hear me or not? Yeah. You did hear me, but she's ignoring me. Well, I didn't. You didn't hear me? I said yes. Oh, all I've got is a yes. I was yes. trying to ask her a question. But you, I don't answer that now. You said we're giving away our That's sovereignty. Domestic. And I domestic. said yes, we are. Oh, OK. Do we have domestics? We don't really, do we? Not really, no. no. You, you sometimes um, I, I, I'm, I'm a bit grumpy sometimes. Sometimes get grumpy. It's quite frustrating though, because I talk to you, don't I, darling? And you don't answer. I, I am 70% deaf. <laughs> I know, but it's still annoying. It's and not some, my fault you're some, deaf. Some, sometimes <laughs> if, if there's a TV on or there's some music on, that's really hard to, to actually sort out which sound is coming oh, from yeah. where. That's one of the things you... You're really struggling when you have French lessons now. You're really struggling in the room because you couldn't hear it. Everyone else is talking, you see. Mm. And it's just really, really hard and echoey old room yeah. as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, I struggled with that. Yeah. With, you know, with, um, yeah. He's nice though. He's a nice bloke though. He's a lovely bloke. Our French teacher. He's a really yeah. good guy. But anyway... It didn't help me though, because I'm flipping useless. My brain don't work that way. My mouth certainly doesn't bend that way. Well, I actually went to the hospital and I bend managed... Which, I went to the hospital... Problem is flipping ours. I went to hospital appointment and I managed okay. Well, you should, yeah, you, you would, you'd manage that fine, wouldn't you? 
But there you go, that's <laughs> us. Because we're thick. We're <laughs> thick, darling. We're a pair of thick numpties, aren't we? Well, I try. Just we all know I'm idiot. I try. <laughs> I do try. Oh, nobody's... You do try, you're very trying. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh, anyway, on that yeah. note. <laughs> so, yeah, we've managed to scupper ourselves in every single direction. But now we're going to be have ETAs and what have you. You're also going to be having another direction from the UK into the EU, the ETIS system. What? It is an uh, absolute, it's going to be a nightmare to administer. What? Why is... We have a load of data, sorry, Don. Sorry. Yeah, we have a load of um, data that we can't actually really make proper use of. Mm. Plus, in some countries, the data is actually... <laughs> It's illegal to collect, you know, especially about race and greed. I was wondering why the UK is a, a charging £10 and the EU are charging €7. Euro. That's not a bad point, isn't it? And also it's longer as well, isn't it? <laughs> I don't it's know £10 I'm, I'm, for two years for the ETA, was it, is it what you're saying? No, yeah, well, I'm not sure how much it is, how long it is in the I think it's seven or eight euros. Yeah, well, I thought it was four, four, seven euros for four years, I think. Oh, what's down here? Well, there's another beach. Let's say we're at Soikoro here in Shenzhou, Shenzhou, and it's a it's a quite a lovely little spot. Oh, look at that over there! I paddled in there. I have, yeah. Skinny dip, and I do. Let it run free, freedom. No, okay. I'll post a picture later. Well, <laughs> oh dear, it's nice down there, isn't it, darling? It's nice. It's lovely and cool, isn't mm. it? We we'll see why people want to travel here. Yeah. You know, it's a very beautiful spot. Well, a lot, of people, a lot of people travel to just to walk down these sort well, of to be places. Fair, and we you know, put on a doorstep. We used to love E-Day and a bit of talk about um, too much tourism. Oh, my God. It's not like this. There's no one about. Okay, we met some dogs earlier. <laughs> but that's about it. And Caroline. And also, we've got um, so many different places, isn't there? You can There's visit loads. in the door door and what have you as well. It's lovely. Um, we, we are... We are two and a half hours from the beach, but the, a lot of our lakes here have got um, sand and um, lifeguards and the children oh, sand can... Sand down there, And the children can... No, I mean, if you go to some mature or... Well, there's a lot of water sports and stuff, yeah, isn't there? but they've got lifeguards in the summer. It's so good for kayaking as well. The children can swim in the water. Oh, yeah, yeah, at the, at the lakes. Yeah. It's so leisure lakes. We've got leisure yeah. lakes in France. But it's, um, it's a beautiful place. I understand why people don't come here. But also, Karen, let's be fair, there are some absolute gorgeous places in the UK. There is. There is. I mean, it's you, a beautiful country, Nor run by a whole load bunch of idiots. Norwich has got some lovely... Arc, um, well, Norwich has got, is, a, is a beautiful city. It's, it's a lovely really city. It's really beautiful. I'm, I mean, I, um, I walk through river the... With a river have a walk around there. It's lovely. But it's, I it's still the oh, cathedral, and that was lovely. It's lovely around there. It's, it's beautiful cathedral. Elm well, Hill. Worked on that. Elm Hill. Not when they built the... it, but... <laughs> The cobble streets in Elm Hill. Yeah. There's some really lovely places. But that's that was fire. <laughs> but yeah, it's um Yeah, but, but the population is just too many people. Really congested. Now we used to look you try to walk away from me. You try to walk away from I'm me. Just trying to get away from the me. The dogs are here. What you are on the lead. They'll stay with us. What are you worrying? <laughs> well, um the other thing is, Cam, we we used to love going to Edale, didn't we? Yeah. Mm, I, yeah mean, I don't know what Edale's like now. And uh, quite often we go to Edo, we'll stay at that farm there, farm campsite and what have you. Yeah. With, with the worst calf ever. Oh my After god. After a greasy Greases, spoon. Yeah. Oh my giddy aunt, that was flipping awful. But there's the pub opposite the, um, well, it's one of the oldest pubs in the country. And its roof is in, it's, it's literally got um, slate roof, isn't it? And it like loves a slate that thick, each of these tiles on the roof, like that thick, the weight on that roof. But then you look at the timbers, you can hold it. Sort of like a proper construction. How it used to be done in the olden days. So Edel we used to love and what have you, but yet again, too many people. Well, why, why we went to, why mm -hmm. went to York, Yorkshire Dales um, a couple of weeks ago? Yeah. And he said he said it wasn't too bad. No, okay. That wouldn't be. Yeah, well, no, but his idea, he lives in the UK, so his idea not too bad, it's not the same as ours. No. Yeah, we live in France and barely see anybody. Mm. You know? And, uh, oh my giddy aunt, my little Wally, he's so amazing. Not as he really is. Right, come on then. Oh, I'm not going to tell you what he just did. But anyway. Oh, another dog. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Dora, come on. So Edale, Castleton. We, we stayed there quite a bit in Castleton. And a lot of the w walks around Edale. Edale were actually lovely. Uh, I haven't talked, oh, we've been to Edale so many times. And then there was the um, foxholes, the walks, so they've got the foxholes. Oh. We've got the extra. Oh, hey! hey. <laughs> Hey, come on! Sebastian, no! 
Pandora, come here. Dora. Pandora. Pandora. Oh, come here, you. Oh. You've got me a bead in, aren't you? There you go. Pandora, come here. Come on. He's getting a bit frisky. Mine's getting a bit frisky. Oh, Wally, no. Wally's having a go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Abans. Abans. <laughs> Abans. <laughs> Abans. <laughs> Abans. <laughs> Abans. 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 Tu sais. C'est formidable ce que tu peux écouter. Allez. Oh, Come on, you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. It was Matthew was trying to mount him or her. Was he? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> was that he as well? That was a she. Oh. That was a she. I think it's a she. I don't still know. Can't tell what big, can you? I mean, firstly. Yeah, they get a bit confused, our dogs, too. Wally was getting a bit snappy there, I don't know why. It smells, isn't it? Oh, yes. Well, do you think we've done that one? Yeah. So, well, it's not going to help the tourist industry, as no. in the ETA. No, it isn't. And the ETIAS system. Well, it's it's going to make things it's difficult. It's going to put people off full stop of travel, I uh, think. Well, I think it will, and also it's, um, it's just another form of uh, mm. Big Brother watching you, really. Yeah. And uh, control, so what mm. control? Yeah. Just like the online safety bill that's coming out. Yeah. Oh my giddy arm! That's Come on. The, that thing is gonna. Well, people like steal your privacy. Yeah, lovely, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Great tyranny. That's another video, though. <laughs> I've already done that one earlier. Oh, all yeah. Right. That one's in the car waiting for you when you're having your uh, nephrologist appointment. Yeah. So. Yeah, she's having a baby boy. No, I'm not. I'm having an endoscopy. An endoscopy? Endoscopy. Ah. Oh. In France, endoscopy. Uh, 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 Caroline? Yeah. What way are they going in? There. Oh, we're going that way? Yeah. Oh, we're getting on. That's not very they're nice. They're going, what, a gag? Well, um, that's why I've got general anaesthetic. Oh, so they're not going out? Yeah. Oh, best way, I reckon. Shiky. Oh, oh, we're getting on a big old. See the dragonfly? The big old dragonfly down there. That's nicer over there. Should we go over there? Yeah, that stone. Before we go, let's just show. Let's go over here near the stone. Where's well, the stone? Bear. That's the old millstone. Bear. Come on. Oh, God, again. Come on, Come this, on way. this way. Pandora! Pandora! Oh, I can't pass. Pandora! Pandora! <laughs> Sebastian, come on. Google, had a swim. Sebastian! Good girl, come on. Oh, he's trying again. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, come on, you. <laughs> it will come all at once. Beautiful dog. Come on, this way, you. Oh dear. See, our dogs haven't had a knack as done, you see. No, boy. <laughs> uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. She's jaw the short straw there. Um, <laughs> thought it was worth. Anyway, we've got a millstone here. It's cut in half. Or broken in half. That's quite nice hair, look. Oh, that is. An I old think, millstone. I think it's been broken. Or that is an old broken millstone. Yeah. Actually, this is actually that's actually in situ, I think you find, Caroline. It's broken. There's the old shaft. Yeah. I imagine that's the old shaft. There's been two millstones oh. on top of each other. Oh, a weir. There's a weir over there. You a bit weary? No? I think we come the right time. It's now starting to get hot. That's beautiful, isn't it? Well, the right time because it was the right time because of your appointment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a nine o'clock appointment. <laughs> oh, my God. You got me out of bed as well. Oh, my God. What I'm time so did I get back to the car? I reckon so. I think it's time for us to go. What do you reckon, my darling? What time did I get back to the car? Do you really time to get back to the car, my sweetheart? I mean, my appointment's at nine. I got back to the car at 13 minutes past. She was quick. <laughs> oh, that's a good point, actually. How long does it take you to have an appointment <laughs> in the UK? Do you, do you have to wait longer than the actual appointment? <laughs> I have to do they do? <laughs> All right, so. I know. I know they do. <laughs> yeah, we can have a blood test one day and get the results sometimes the same day. Aren't we? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, well, any blood tests generally, unless they take time to do the test. Mm. 
But then there's the uh, scans and x-rays. You get a result you walk straight out away. of the x-ray with our x-ray. And, and, a, it, and a sheet of paper telling yeah. you if there's anything wrong. It's brilliant. Do you know what it is? It's like a self-service booth. You put your coins in as you go in, no, don't you? No, you don't. <laughs> Dora, this way. <laughs> and do you know the other thing? Even though, oh, you've got to pay for your health care in France and what have you, you just have to have a mutual insurance. So you have that bit, but it covers a third of your actual um, uh, health care. The rest of it is paid by the state. Two thirds are paid by the state. Yeah, you pay for it. Yeah, but if you ain't earning enough, you can get a thing called a complimentaire CMU, and the whole lot is paid for it. It includes dental. Yeah. Not with that yes. And there are dentists there, aren't there? Yeah, and yeah. your prescriptions. And your prescription, includes all the prescriptions. And oh my god! Don't you get you, a lot? Don't you get a lot? And you, you come out with carrier bags full of meds. Dolopan, which is paracetamol. Yeah, yeah including yeah, including just our paracetamol, Dolopan. Yeah. Five milligram stuff, it's good stuff. It's. Well, they look after the people, don't they, here? And I the think difference. It's a bit, um, oh. Sorry, I'm, I, I lost it. Well, I think how I, I, I get the point is is that here in France, the healthcare has a different philosophy behind it. And the basis, yes, that's what I was trying to say. It's, it's all about prevention. That's prevention. It. That's it, my darling. That's it's all about word. prevention. Prevention. <laughs> Nipping it in the bud, solving it, the problem straight away. If someone's diagnosed with cancer, you, there's, there's quite a strong possibility you get an operation the same week. It's true, isn't it? Most people do. Yeah. yeah. And um. So there's prevention, whereas in the UK it's all about sticky, sticky plaster. Like uh, uh, Keir Starmer says, sticky plaster politics. Same in the NHS, unfortunately. It's all about pushing, you know, passing the buck, passing it on to the next person, or, or just to their next appointment. Uh, how much more? Do it, how it. much more do it cost because they don't prevent? Oh yeah, exactly. so it must be cheaper to prevent than to it is. treat. Yeah, no, well, let's be fair, the health service in France is extremely costly and there's also a hell of a lot of waste here. There is. And you could argue about the prescriptions and stuff. Oh my God, sometimes when they give you far too much stuff too and much you stuff. don't need it. Way too much stuff. Um, so that is wasteful. Um, so it's not perfect. You know, you could improve it. Mm. But at the end of the day, people, end of the day uh, France has a very high success rate with uh, cancer and treatments like that. So it makes, well, to me it makes a lot of sense. You know, prevention's better than, well, putting that sticky blaster on, isn't it? <laughs> you know, let's say, for instance, argument's sake, let's have an analogy done. Let's have an analogy. We're walking up this hill and I'm wearing shoes that are all floppy. But the soles have come apart, my darling. Well, you might yeah. fall over. And I come along here. Oh, I try to keep up my dogs. And I go arse over tit. Well, if I go and have a new pair of flipping shoes, it might not have happened. Come on, yep. I broke that yep. flipping leg. There you go, that's an analogy. That is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think it's time for us to go down, don't you? Yeah. Right, au revoir. Oh, bye bye. Time to the hill now as well. Okay. Ta ta. <laughs> Have a lovely day. Is that it? Yeah. You sure? Buy me a coffee. Have we covered everything? We can't. Oh, yeah. Oh, forgot that bit. Oh, yeah. If you want to support the channel, you can do it on Patreon. The buy us a coffee. And the links are down below. Membership. You might. Memberships. It's all quirky. You've got memberships as well of the channel. Well, the thing is, you see. Or buy a dog a treat. You might actually even buy a doggy a treat. <laughs> oh, one, two, three, or four. Oh, four, yeah, sorry. Didn't see you there. I got. I, I, I didn't recognise you. <laughs> My dog. No, woof, woof. Woof, woof. <laughs> I'm horrible to you, aren't I? I don't mind a treat, though. Am I horrible to you? I won't mind a treat, though. You're used to me, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, dear. Poor girl. So you beat them. What you have to do is you have to beat them down early on. In your relationship, uh, when they think you're, you're magical nice. and you're wonderful and all that, you say they're part of anything. And so nice. you beat them down there right early on in the relationship. It worked, didn't they? Nice bowl of fruit, I'd like. <laughs> you'd like a nice bowl of fruit? Yeah. I love fruit. Have you got a hat with fruit on it? No, I don't want a hat. Which is the hat? Well, I do a tiny need a hat. Can you try and get a cow on a hat? That needs to be 55 centimetres. Yeah, but you've got a tiny head. Does it reflect what's inside? I don't know. <laughs> Did you hear that? No. Oh, phew. I've got anyway. a small shoe size as well. Doesn't that make I've got a tiny shoes, t tiny feet, tiny hands. We did manage to get you some garden gloves the other day. We did. They actually yeah. fitted. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. I like usually have to have extra, proper, proper, extra small. Really nice ones as well, weren't they? Proper leather ones. I usually have extra, extra small. They were half price or something. Yeah, they were. 
in our local tiny gloves. little shop. It's like when they've got motorbike gloves, you see. I had to get, I had to order in special. <laughs> <laughs> what size are you? Size five or six? Or four? No, not four. <laughs> I think five. You have fives. Something like a nine or ten I am. So, anyway, that's Can where we are. Can you open the door for me? Yeah, I will open the door for you, my darling. Where's there? Sebastian? And it's uh, yeah, it's part of the old again. Glen, here in San Juan. So, anyway, let's see if it dogs on lead. No, it doesn't look good. <laughs> Ta-ta.